What's going on everybody? Rod J back in the house. Thanks for saying by to check out another video. Today I'm going to take a look at a Lambic. It's going to be the Lindemann's Pesh, which is their Peach Lambic. Comes in at an ABV of 2.5%. Now with this type of style, a lot of the ABVs are lower, but it's more about the taste and everything else that's put into it. That being said, the beers they put out from Lindemann's are really pretty solid. So definitely recommend you guys checking those out if you get a chance. If it is your first time to the channel and you have not been here before, welcome. And of course, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit that alarm bell so that way you're notified as well. And if you do like it at the end, just hit that thumbs up, right? So that all works out well. Take a look into the glass. Here's a look. I'll just get the label right out for you guys there. So the Lindemann's right there. You got a little thin head, which is usually the case with this style. And that'll dissipate down, but it's an eggshell white. Color of the beer is kind of a orangish type color, light orange type color there. You get a light behind it. You know, you can see right through it, but it's not much haziness anyway. You can see carbonation on the inside. I'll get a little closer to you guys there. You can see the bubbles actually streaming from really the center of the glass and that's probably how the glass is cut to be able to do that oh wow <laughs> aroma wise you really get the peach jumping out of the glass you don't even have to sniff hard you just put your nose in there and the aromas come right out that nice sweetness of the peach like a nice ripe peach if you're going to bite into it it's just a nice feel and the raspberry one was this way too you really got a nice dose of that raspberry aroma taste wise Pretty much like drinking a peach soda. You could easily throw a few of these down on the back of the finish. I do get a little bit of that tart taste in there as well, but it's so subtle, so put together. I mean, if you ever had a Lindemans, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't had a Lindemans and you're a Sours fan, definitely recommend. Even with it being a Lambic and the lower ABV as well, we're trying, really getting a taste of flavor of this style. Just like such a freshness to the taste of the flavor. It's kind of got like a juicy type feel in there as well. The carbonation, even though you have some of the bubble action taking place, it doesn't come over carbonated in the taste in any way. You have a nice duration of the flavor kicking around in the mouth. It's really one you like to enjoy and just savor if you can, but at the same point, it's so tasty, you kind of just want to drink it all down. And I'm trying to look just at that center of the glass because like I said, the bubbles are really concentrated. So I didn't look into the center as much earlier, but I got a feeling there's an etch in there and that's how they get a lot of the bubbles to actually generate up. Duvel is real big about that when they put the D in the bottom of their glass. But it's like a nice little almost tornado type look when you look at the bubbles actually kind of coming up right from the center. It's almost like, as I said, a tornadic type feel to it. Nice one from Lindemans. Mmm. Could drink those babies all day long. Nice, got nice sweetness to it, nice tartness to it. Not overly sour when you think of the Lambic style. Crisp, clean, solid beer. So, if you haven't had it, I would say check it out, especially if you're a fan of some of the sour type styles. If you have had it, let me know what you think of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. And uh, any other beers you want me to check out, feel free to let me know in the comments as well. And I will look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers, and remember, there's always time to get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.